Tonight, more than 100 police officers on foot searching neighborhoods near Central Michigan University for a suspected killer with local ties. So where is James Eric Davis Jr.? The Plainfield native is accused of killing his parents. Bellwood police officer Eric Davis Sr. and Diva Davis found shot to death on the Central Michigan campus. Good evening. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. Tonight, the motive is not clear, but family and friends of the Davis family are heartbroken and stunned. CBS 2's Brad Edwards live in Bellwood with the latest developments. Brad. Yeah, good evening, Rob and Erica. A somber scene here. The murdered father was born here, served in the military, and then served the police force. Officer James Eric Davis Sr. and his wife, a flight attendant, were murdered, allegedly by their son. The mayor and police chief in Bellwood spoke after the close of business, only after confirmation from Michigan authorities. It's really tragic that we lost James. James was a close personal friend of mine, as well as uh, many other officers on the police department. He will truly be missed. I remember James as a kid in Bellwood. We actually played together. This has been one of the toughest days for the village of Bellwood um, in, in many years. To Michigan, where there was a manhunt for the 19-year-old namesake. His parents had apparently come to pick him up for spring break. At that time, he was wearing a dark hoodie. It is unknown what clothing he may be wearing now because we have located a number of articles of clothing along the railroad grade. The shooting on Central Michigan's campus triggered a lockdown as the search for the Plainfield native intensified back home. I'm sure that when they went to go pick him up this, for a spring break that this was not you know, the outcome that, that yeah. they had expected. The campus officials say the junior Davis was taken to the hospital Thursday, possibly due to a bad reaction to drugs. And that really the only inclination that something could have been amiss. Officials here promising they'll help in any way they can. We're live in Bellwood tonight. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Rob and Erica, back to you. All right, Brad, thank you.